So welcome to Morton Hall Caravan Park. It's really well signposted as you come in from the motorway, so very easy to find and you'll come off the road and turn right and you'll drive down a very long pathway and on your left just as you come in there's a garden centre which is dog friendly and has a restaurant and also there is a farm shop that has lots of local produce everything from milk and cream to yogurts to fruit and veg salad all sorts of other yummy things anyway as you come down towards Morton Hall straight ahead of me you'll see the stables bar and restaurant where you can book to eat we ate there one night and it was pretty decent pub food for a reasonable price and then you'll turn right here to head to the reception on your left and as you can see the site is open all year long and is about four miles from the centre of Edinburgh you take you come out of the park cross over the road it's about a five or ten minute walk and you catch the number 11 bus and it takes about half an hour and it costs one pound 80 for single or you can buy an all-day ticket for four pound 50 that will um, take you on as many bus and tram rides as you want so we'll head down here and we'll just you just basically park your van here to check in they tell you your pitch number and then you will head on round there so this is the reception area where where you check in and it also has a really well stocked shop with soft drinks and wine and ice cream and sweets more wine and of course shortbread and then other food supplies that you might need and also around here are all your camping essentials we were running out of our green toilet chemicals and we were glad to see that they had the green stuff rather than the blue stuff which is much more environmentally friendly so that's the reception and the shop so as I say you check just pull your van in check in they'll give you your plot number and then we'll walk on around so once you've checked in you'll be given a, an area number we were area zone B and as you can see from here it is a really well signpost so let me take you to show you where the laundrette and all the other areas are so there are some really cute little huts around here that you can rent and they are about I think they're about 30 pounds a night depending on the time of the season but if we carry on walking around here we'll take you to the laundry room but also the games room as well and as with the rest of the site there's always all over the place lots of litter and recycling refuse points and then you'll see so here is a kitchen area where you can actually do some cooking microwave kettle it's a table to eat another microwave and a washing up area so that's really good especially if it is pouring with rain and then the next room is the laundry room and it's four pound a wash which seems par for the course and then one pound for the tumble dryer for 10 minutes which seems quite expensive but if you need to do your laundry which we have done on this trip then obviously that is invaluable And then here we have games room with some arcade type things, billiard table, seating area, and a large TV, which is great. 
and that's open from 8 to 30 in the morning till late at night and then we've got some disabled facilities here and that's it and then around here we've got some seating area which are really dotted all over the place so it's really impressive how well it's geared to support you so that you don't necessarily need to get your own tables and chairs out but you can use any of the benches that are dotted all over the site but also pretty close to your pitch as well like we'll we see in our pitch where there's one right next to us and then on the left there's a few more of the little huts which are pretty basic but they look great and would be nice and warm and uh, everything you need to keep you safe and dry during the night so as I've been saying the site is really well spread out and although it's quite a big site you just don't get a feeling of being on top of each other and that's definitely a plus this site has actually surprised me it's been better than we thought we selected it purely because of its location to Edinburgh Centre because it's only about four miles away but actually it's a really pleasant site and I would definitely come back here it just is really well has great facilities and you know it's just really well spread out as I've been saying so if I just take you back to our pitch if I walk with you you get a sense of how far it is and we are well I don't know sort of a third of the way around the site lots of signs around saying keep your vehicles locked up so there obviously I guess because we're close to a big city are some potential issues with theft so just up from our van and by the coffee kiosk is a set of toilets so let's go and see what we've got ladies from this side and the chemical, dis chemical disposal is in here which is all very very clean and then I guess the gents are around this side and then the gents are here so toilets sinks and showers all looking very very clean so this is a apparently a barbecue hut so you can hire it out and then you bring your food and you cook your barbecue inside in all weathers so that is a neat idea oh nice so you can see there's a you probably can't see actually you can just see me but anyway inside is a central barbecue um, so what a great idea so even if it's raining you can still have your barbecue inside we found really good TV signal last night in fact we found like a hundred channels of PBS America and all sorts of things let's go around here that we didn't know you could actually get in the UK and yeah and also um, I'm not sure there's Wi-Fi here I don't know if you have to pay for it but we haven't used it no um, and we are mobile Wi-Fi connected fine but seemed to struggle a little bit last night so we'll see if that's still the case we are just walking back to reception so now we've done a sort of full circle of the site and as I said you can see how spacious the whole place is we're actually taking Oscar out for a walk now to go and check out garden centre so I'll we'll see you at the garden centre which is just up the road from here so we just popped into the garden centre and you can see it's dog friendly which is great and all the Christmas stuff out is out as well it's sort of slightly depressing but also quite pretty 
That's quite impressive, isn't it? Let's get a shot from here. It's very well done. Lots of things for Christmas. Wow, well, I've said it already, but what a beautiful day. We are just walking out of Morton Hall towards the main road to catch the bus and there is a rather large highland cow, highland cattle to our left and there's a little bird having a ride on his back. Yeah, I don't think yesterday we saw some people in the field taking photos of this oh there's one right there as well. Let's kind of have a look. They were actually in the field taking photos, which is slightly crazy. There we go. He's got rather wonky horns. Looks like you've been in a few, a few battles. He looks so cute. And there's his friend having breakfast and head on back to the main road to catch the bus. Hopefully this will be nice and easy. It's number 11 that you need to catch. And it seems to take, I don't know, about 20 to 30 minutes to get into town to Prince's Street. So we'll see how that goes. We need to cross over the road and catch the bus that's heading in the direction of that white camper van. Here we are at the bus stop and the great thing is you can see hopefully a number 11 is coming in five minutes and the bus stop is on the other side of the road to Morton Hall and it's probably a five minute walk from reception probably 10 minutes from where our pitch was and hopefully the buses will be reliable in Scotland and be on time. So as we come up to the top end of Morton Hall you can see the children's playground on my right and then there's more grass pitches now it is on a bit of a slope so you're going to have to straighten your caravan or your motorhome or camper level and up here on the left there's some of these rather cute looking sort of portable homes can't go too close to them because I don't know if anybody's in and the price list for renting all of these including the igloo things that we saw earlier is at reception different prices for different times of year. Then we have more grass pitches to our left. And then on the right is, actually there looks like a, be a dog walking area. So on my right here is uh, showers. So let's just have a quick look. We've got recycling, washing up sinks. These are dotted around the park, so it's very good. And then I can't go in here at the moment because I've got Oscar with me, but then we've got the showers. So let's just head up here and see what we can find up here. This might be the dog walking area, although it's not very clearly signposted. So this area looks like it used to be an area for maybe some static homes, but now is just a grass area, so I don't know whether it's because of the pandemic or or maybe it's just off season, I'm not sure. But anyway, I've let Oscar have wonder just to see what we can find above here. So you can see much above there. But anyway, it's worth shooting this just to show you what an absolutely stunning day it is the perfect sort of autumn autumnal day where you need to dress up warm but there's almost not a cloud in the sky and the weather's supposed to stay like this all day today so that will be amazing if it does even though we are only four miles from the center of edinburgh you st we're still surrounded by lovely countryside and the hills and so this is really a great location both to be away from the craziness of a big city but also close enough that you can get in 
whenever you want to. So that was definitely the dog walking era because I've met lots of other dog walkers and it's good because you can take let your dog off the lead there. And then as we carry around on around the campsite, which is sort of a big circle, I guess, we can see more grass pitches, lots of picnic tables dotted all over the place. And again, these pitches are have power, uh, more recycling points, and then looks like some more of those shepherd hut type things to my right. So we are now just walking down the main pathway back to reception. So a uh, reasonable priced campsite, I think this again was about 23, 24 pounds a night. One of the bigger sites that we've been on, but you know, it just, I know it's not that busy at the moment, but it doesn't feel that packed. It's not like the Moffat site, if you watch that review, which was a camping caravan site, kind of felt a bit like a car park. This doesn't feel like it, partly because the pictures are really well spread out and partly because of all the trees and grasslands. You get a feeling that you're sort of in a park. Here is a service point that you can stop and fill up with both grey water and disposal point and then drinking water as well. And then we're just going to loop back round once Oscar's stopped sniffing everything and reception is just down there and then I'll just walk you right back round to where we're where we're parked. So there's the stable bar and restaurant which is an independent pub but you can go and eat there and obviously it's pretty much on site and it's cost effective. If you've watched our video of our journey to this campsite and our evening then you will have seen the food and what the experience was like but you know if you want some decent pub grub at a reasonable price then that's a good place to go if you don't fancy cooking or you don't fancy heading back into Edinburgh so as you can see all the plots are easily marked out you obviously have a lot of choice where like these plots look like they are just pitches without any power and obviously they're going to be cheaper and then you've got the pitch like we've got that has full service on it so power water and gray disposal then there is a, a little coffee van I don't know if you can see that because it's sun's right in my eyes but Hector and Harriet's that unfortunately isn't open at the moment but is open on the Thursday Friday and Saturday and you can see the menu lots of coffees and some bacon and sausage rolls and black pudding and all that kind of stuff and then we're heading back to where we are and again you get a sense of how sort of spread out this place is and lots of recycling or drinking water grey water lots of places to fill so again you, this is a service points you can pull in here if you don't have water on your pitch but here we are and you can see this is a great pitch it's really deep so you're kind of well hidden away and there's a nice little picnic table and you know here's here's our closest neighbors so we're some ways away and then on the pitch you can see there is power, oops, and then water, and then if we head over here, just behind the back of the van, we have got a grey water disposal point. Unfortunately, our, we don't have a hose that extends from the grey water to here, but no big deal. It's, like five feet to drag it. Okay, so that is a review of the Morton Hall camping caravan site. It's an independent site. Hope you found it useful. If there's any other things you'd like us to show or include in the reviews, please do leave a comment. Of course, hit the subscribe button and click on the bell so you are alerted when new videos are produced. But other than that, we will see you next Sunday 
for the next episode of On The Road Again.